Hello everyone and welcome back to another Total Annihilation replay. Today we have for you a very exciting international match right here. We have Team USA versus Team Finland. So up here in the north representing Team Finland we have Sleep, Finn Sleep, and the Finnish King Tip Tushi. <clears throat> Down here in the south, representing Team USA, we have Core Commander Postal, which is uh, which is me, and we have Crater over here. Now Crater is a uh, as a, a another US player. I think at this point he was in the uh, the Zen Zen Clan. He was a fun guy to play against. Um, he wasn't considered one of the uh, um, one of the top players, but then again, neither was I. Um, I asked Crater at this point to uh, to share line of sight. You can see what I'm doing here is I'm doing a uh, a fast build here, starting out. I have built two wins and I've dropped a vehicle plant. Crater has done the same. He's dropped three wins and he's building a vehicle plant. Sleep, on the other hand, over here in blue, he's built multiple wins, which means you can bet that Tip Tushi is going air. Here we go. We make sure we got that up for you guys. Now you can see Tip. He's going Freedom Fighter first. He's anticipating one of us over here to be uh, to be air. So you can see this first construction vehicle comes out, starts reclaiming that tree. Tip's fighter comes in. He finds well, just some winds. Tip is building a construction. I indicate air. I tell air. Now, uh, Tiptushi was kind enough to give me the Finnish translation. Um, I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce that, but that means it's double vehicle. So he's gone ahead and he's marked that missile tower. And he's having his air construction air guard out that bomber. Now, I'm willing to bet he's probably going to send that to grab these right here. You can see Crater's putting out some quick construction vehicles. He's actually reclaimed one of his wins, realizing he doesn't need it. So that way he can go ahead and crank out a con. He puts out a Samson. And there goes the construction air right now to go ahead and grab these lovely Ulocks worth 50 metal apiece. He marks Crater's missile tower. Now Sleep has gone vehicle. You can see, having pushed out just two construction vehicles, I'm reclaiming my vehicle plant. Tip says, they're going fast, double C, make MTs on the coast and the shore as well. Sleep says, yeah. Here comes Tip's bomber. You can see what he's doing here is he's swinging into line of sight and then dropping those bombs and heading off screen. So that bomber did some damage, didn't get hit. Here he goes, so he brings it back on screen, takes out all the metal, and it gets shot down. Not a bad run though. It's tough for two construction vehicles to keep up with active bombing. I, I tell Crater, one bomber down. Crater's been able to expand here pretty much unmolested. He's heading into C as well. Now on John's Pond, it's really important to get C quickly um, and start to win that skeet fight. Um, so you can see here, uh, Team USA down here on the south has a bit of an advantage, although I am completely out of metal, um, as I didn't build extra metal extractors to start with, so I didn't have that metal being produced while I was laying down my vehicle plant, um, that Sleep had. You can see Sleep has also now reclaimed his plant, and he is walking into the water. Tip bombing here. Manages to knock out a metal extractor and tag one of the missile towers. I tell Crater I need some metal. So Crater shares his metal at this point. And I go and I harass Tip's aircon, but it gets away. And that's the thing is, using the fog of war, I was seeing that these were disappearing. And so I knew to go ahead and harass at that point with my one single skeeter that uh, or searcher that I that I pushed out. 
Tip's gone vehicle using that extra metal that he got from reclaiming. Tip says, more energy. Plans on keep putting out bombers here. He takes out those metal extractors almost as soon as they're up. See, I've dropped additional winds around. I'm starting to put out a Seacon. And Sleep is pushing out Skeets. Tip says, just defend early on, or um, because they've got 2C. Uh, Sleep says, I'll make you one con. And uh, he says, Tip says, yeah, I meant uh, I meant attack, although he actually says he, he thinks he meant defend. Uh, and he, he says, don't attack. Uh, and Sleep says he won't. Basically, Tip is informing Sleep that he doesn't want him to go down here and just dump a bunch of metal on our shore um, down south. Incoming bomber. See how Crater, not being bombed, was able to pretty quickly cover, using his three construction vehicles, cover the south with with adequate defenses. Uh, Sleep, with his four cons, is pushing out a bunch of resources as well. I send this skeet to harass, and this is what, uh, what Tip was telling Sleep about, just building these um, missile towers on the shore. that searcher gets sunk, leaving a lovely 76 metal on Tip's doorstep. Tip's got three cons out as well. I've still only got two. Crater, one, two, three that he's got working. He's got a sea con out. I also have a sea con out starting to cap these underwater metal extractors. You can see Sleep is doing the same. And the ski battle starts out. Tip continues to bomb here. He's still not in the water, and I know that. See what Sleep has done here is he's dropped these dragon seats along the shore so when the skeets come up to shoot, they're not going to be able to take out that metal extractor. Although it looks like Crater doesn't have shoot all on. See here, he's trying to keep that con alive. I definitely want to get that con from him. And I knock out the con. That was good for me. Just raiding ashore. Tip sends these, bomber off, pro sends these bombers off. Probably a good idea. See what he's doing here is he's bombing the underwater metal extractors, but you'll notice nothing seems to happen to the core ones, whereas the arm ones are getting destroyed. So, you can see with just three bombers there, and a little stack, the uh, arm ones are gone. And so I, I asked Crater, do you want a core con, C con, because, well, core mexes are invincible. So, at this point, I'm asking if we should double sleep. And uh, Crater agrees that we're going to both put pressure on sleep. I'm going to take a look over here at Tip's base. See, he's reclaimed his vehicle. Tip had asked sleep to go Pels. We've got a lot of, ski uh, a lot of searchers and skeeters out there. See, I'm also taking advantage of the uh, arm metal extractors. Now you can notice how Crater's keeping his group down here and I'm keeping mine up here. We can't mix them and get together, get them together because of the way friendly fire works and total annihilation. So he says he's a little bit afraid of subs. Uh, Tip tells him to build a crusader so you can see sleep starts to do that. Uh, Tip says, I'll share metal when you run out. And then Sleep also says, I'll make a K-Bot for you. I tell Crater, I'm going to go check on Tip. Crater says, Tip will have Pels soon. I say, okay, getting Enforcers. You can see I switch. I'm putting out Destroyers at this point. Tip continues the bombing. I don't know if that's necessarily the best use of his time at this point in the game. Although he knows I've only got two construction vehicles. So he can potentially do a decent amount of damage, and I can't repair it. So that's a nice run there. Double run takes out three metal extractors, so that ends up certainly being worth it. See, even though he's got these dragon seeds here, they are taking a small amount of damage, I believe. See, I've even moved up far enough to the point where I'm starting to take over Tip's metal extractors.
this point, Crater and Sleep are even at 12k each. Uh, I'm about 2,000 metal ahead of Tiptoosh. The majority of that's coming from these underwater metal extractors. So eventually I was able to shoot through those and destroy the metal extractors. You can see how it's just ever so slightly taking damage. Eventually the dragon teeth gets knocked down and the metal extractor is taken care of. Not wanting to give a ton of metal, I withdraw. Tip still bombing Crater. Now Crater is going cave out at this point. He intends to go Pelicans. I say Tip's held up, no land. Um, basically on land, I should get Pels. Crater says he's going Pels now. Sleep says, Pels coming. I say, okay, I'll go, uh, I'll bomb then. Tip again, trying to take out core metal extractors. He should know better. Swings and he takes out the arm ones. And basically only got the one metal extractor for that bomber run there. I say, he doesn't know it doesn't work on core. Tip just said, yeah, good. So I've got all these metal extractors. I've got the enforcers up here. So even if he, Tip does push out Pels. Now, Sleep's got his Pels done too over here. So you can see he's using those extra cons that he had and he's just cranking out a ton of winds and putting up a bunch of metal makers. See, Crater and I are doing the same. But we don't have as many cons as they do. So they had tip it asked, do they have geos? Uh, tip says, I'll check soon. Um, and then he goes and he, uh, he checks it out. And Sleep is asking if he should push. He says, Postal is pretty small. He's saying, I don't have all that much. Relative to tip, I've got a bit more. But he is right. Relative to sleep, I don't have that much. Crater's the one who's been doing a bit more building. So now here you go. You can see this is the standard John's Pond Hells vs. Crusader battle right here. Now Crater wasn't force firing, and that's one thing that you can do is you can actually force fire to get them to shoot their death charge as well at the Pelicans. You can see the Pels they just kind of struggle against the Crusaders. Tip going to bomb that guy out. Now the Skeets are the anti-air. You can see I've gone vehicle, I've pushed out additional cons, and now I am going air like I said I would. Sleep's just defending. Team Finland on the defense right now. And Tip is going Pelicans as well. Crater says Pels over here. Still have to control the bombers. That's why I'm dropping these missile towers out. I know they're not any good against pelicans. Tip says I'm going Pels now. You see I gave some searchers over here to Crater. And again, that's to prevent friendly fire. That's the reason why I didn't hold on to them. At this point, I'm at 31 metal, the tip's 26. Sleep and Crater are both in around 40. Starting to shell the shore. I ask Crater if he needs help. He says, yeah, he's going to. So I'm scouting at this point. You can see I am doing what I want to do. I say tip is going roaches. Um, or invaders. Um, and you can see I am just cranking out these bombers and putting them in these stacks. So 
obviously as the water's here I bring my enforcers up. He says I'll build a little while then I'll come too. That's what Tip's saying there. I come in trying to get this con. Kind of overextend with the enforcers here. That's a bit much. But bag the con. Sleep says, I'll go hawk soon. Tip says, yeah, good. I say, Tip has Pels on me now. See the Pelicans coming out? They're cleaning out that air defense that I have. Let's see more winds going up from Sleep here. He's taking advantage of the fact that he's got advanced, he's put out a Moho Metal Maker, and he's got it sparked. There's Tip going ahead and he's putting out some uh, some Vader bombs, some roaches. Well, those don't work as well against searchers as they do against pelicans. Crater in sleep. And this is where he's cleaning up that mess. Sleep is taking advantage of the air there. I press in. Pels on land can be hit by searcher missiles. I scout, trying to give my destroyer some line of sight. Also marking some things. Okay, I'm going to slow this down here so I can try and keep up with everything. Sleep moves over. Crater presses. You can see the pelicans are getting hung up on the wrecks. Even though these wrecks are underwater, the way pelican wrecks work is it treats them as if they were on top of the water. It's one of those old TA bugs. So they get hung up on the wreckage, and that's why they're really easy targets for the Crusaders here. So that really wasn't a good use of the pelicans when I sleep there. And there is a bomber stack. So I had just gone, I bombed this, went off screen, came back down, bombed these missile towers, bombed that aircraft plant, and the stack survived. So that's a really nice run for me. I'll try and make sure we catch the next one. Sleep has taken over the wreck field right here, so Crater's in trouble. He says, watch your comm. Postal is on mass air. Sleep asks if it's advanced. He says, no, it's core. Tip says, I'll go here to be safe. So he probably indicates that he's going to head on over into uh, sleep space. You can see I've got a K-Bot con from Crater now. And here goes another stack. So I send in the scouts, mark what I want to bomb. See that he's got an advanced K-Bot web. Because there's nano blocked, it didn't go down. But stack flies in, flies off the top. I've got a chance to swing it around. Tip walking his com away. Sleep's continuing to press in and take advantage of that wreck field, using those air cones. Really good wreckage control by Sleeper. More scouts. Yeah, here you go. So that's Tip saying, I'll go here to be safe. So Tip is planning on hiding from the bomber stacks in, uh, in Sleep's base.
Crater's saying, help me get this metal, and that's a correct thing. I really should have had my navy over here at this point, really trying to control that metal, that wreck field. Just continue to crank out bombers. Lucky find for me here, I get to bring those skeets in and shoot down the, the, uh, the aircraft. Flying in some more bombers. Not enough in that stack to do anything. So you can see with me pushing in, Craters managed to managed to push up a little bit. And so now this wreck field is under Craters control. It's just a matter of getting cons in there to take care of it. Although neither of us have built any air cons. Again, probably just a big mistake by Team USA there. Let's see the con air, and they take it down. Sleep is going to advance. That was a nice bomber stack right there. I took out the Moho, took out two advanced labs. Took out some winds along the top as well. At this point, sleeps at 62,000, the crater's 55. I'm at 40,000 to tip two, she's 38. So at this point, sleep's economy is really starting to come alive. Those extra cons at the beginning has really been going. Crater says we need Crusties. So he's saying we need more Crusaders. At this point, I'm trying to keep Sleep's Hawk production down, trying to stay on top of it. You can see as soon as he Sleep sees that that one's been spotted, he goes ahead and he just starts to build a different one in a different location. So here, I'm using my searchers as a screening force and a, and a line of sight force so that way I can keep my enforcers healthy but they're too far back sleep starting to press in right here I see sleep's navy Say grab that M while you can, because I realize that sleep is on top of me at this point. So that's a good opportunity for Crater to move up the ticket. He wasn't able to take advantage of it though. Sleep moves back to guard the wreck field. These markers are when I gave some searchers to Crater. Crater's economy is starting to really get good here too. You see he's got his moho going. Here comes a stack. Crater's pushing Pels into the fight. Mark that new Hawk facility. More scouting. I see the tip really doesn't have much over here. Uh, except for that nice hawk facility. As soon as I see the hawks, I grab a stack of bombers. Says, tip says you need to build some resource. Bomb all his metal makers, a Moho metal maker, and an advanced lab. 
Yeah, so Tips tells Sleep to make mass sonars. And Sleep says he's making advanced shipyard. So he's planning on going carriers for some additional resources. Crater has also gone air now at this point, and he's going advanced air. He's getting hawks up. I say sleep is hawks. See, I'm really not in a position for that. I haven't even used this lovely con that Crater's given me. Heck, I've not even capped my Geo like a horrible, horrible newbie. Fly a scout's over so I can shell. Putting pressure on Tip. Tip, on the other hand, is putting pressure on Crater with his pelicans. Runs them right into a large group of crusaders that they'll be quickly taken care of. See, this is Crater force firing to try and take out those Pels, but he hasn't noticed that he's missing right now. And then you can see I've brought scouts in so that way I can shoot and shell and really start to raid Tip's land. Sleep looks like he's going to try and move in and trap me. Part of the reason for me putting all this pressure too is I want to try and draw Sleep over to me and give Crater space so he can take it as wreck field. More marking and off goes the stack. Flies through the hawks. Missed the target though. Just took out the one airplane. Tip says, bring the hawks. He's wide open. He sees that. Tip sees that Crater doesn't have very much air defense here. So in come Tip's roaches. Sinks one. Crater brings his hawks in, shoots down the flying bomb. At this point, Sleep's economy is just huge. Tip says, can you help me now? Crater says, I'm effed. I just keep giving him metal. Can't back, can't back him up. But because I started pressing in, Sleep sends all his navy back at me. I'm trying to take out his advanced lab. In comes the stack. Takes out the advanced lab. But Sleep's massive navy overruns my enforcers. He's got his hawks in here as well. I don't have enough searches for air cover. Crater brings in his hawks to help try and thin the herd a little bit, which is uh, the right thing to do in that situation. Crater's now got some breathing room. But he doesn't have air cons out. Oh, yeah, he does have air cons out here cleaning up some metal. The thing is, if you set them on patrol, they will reclaim metal. Unfortunately, they think that repairing is more important. Tip says, okay, good. He thinks he's okay. I've... Uh, he sleep successfully pulled enough pressure off. I've got some idle cons. I see the advanced shipyard. And there go the stacks. About the advanced shipyard and swing by over the air defense and take out his advanced airplane as well. Tip's got his farts, he's got his advanced K bot lab up and running again. And you can see I'm constantly scouting and marking. 
crater catches sleep trying to defend against the uh, the scouts and that's one thing sleep now is uh, he may just be on guard for the dots that he sees coming in on radar because the dots the single dots have been stacks of bombers I say keep up the hawks I'll try to keep their labs down because I've been busy bombing their advanced air This is not a good call by me right here, just sending these enforcers up to get taken out. Although because Sleep's Hawks are back, then Crater is able to bring his Hawks in. Crater around 60 metal, Sleep around 66. Tip says he's going to go Big Bertha soon. Tip's pushed up a Guardian to help drive me back. That will also secure this wreck field for him. So right now, it looks like Team Finland's got the economy, uh, but Team USA has got the water. Crater's Hawks coming in. Now at this point, Crater's been able to build these Hawks without getting his labs bomb. He just doesn't necessarily have the strength of the economy that, that Sleep does. Let's see Crater reclaiming, cleaning up this wreck field that he's secured. Again, I keep pressing in. This is good for me. I know if I see these ships coming over, that that's giving Crater the breathing room that he needs. At the same time, it drives me back. It takes away the initiative I have on tip. Crater moving his Crusaders in. Winds everywhere. Tip says, I'm fine. I'm going to go fight Crater. I see the big Bertha. And then here goes a stack. Not a particularly good run there. Not enough in the stack. Just got the Geo. About time I put out an aircon. Here's my favorite strategy: um, mass idle cons. Crater three hawk factories up. Sleep putting up some bombers. Looks like he's only got the one, but he's got this advanced shipyard up again, and he's pushing out more resources and so it's really just causing his resources to explode. He's at 104 metal right now. Whereas I only recently got my advanced K-Bot up and I'm starting to push out some Fargs. So I need to skeets in. I want them to shoot down that aircon but it doesn't quite work. I see the big berth is up. And it's open fire. And there goes the stack. Now to get a big bertha that's behind nano blocking, I've got to fan the bombers. You can't use a stack for that. Didn't work. It's still alive. Say, BB doesn't. BB didn't die. But it's damaged. Crater sends in a mass hawk attack, and down it goes. You can see though, Crater lost a lot of hawks in that attack as well, though. So it would have been much better if it had gone down to my bombers. Sleep returning the favor. Nice line bombing by him. Taking out a lot of wins. Also knocked out one of his advanced air labs as well. Nice job by Crater pressing in here, taking out those resources. Team Finland's looking like they're in trouble.
more mass idol cons. Amazing USA strategy right there. You can see Tip still hiding in the corner over there. Greater pressing in, reclaiming. I'm up here reclaiming as well. Sleep massing the hogs. Nice run by sleep right there, wipes out Crater's air production. Tip putting up another big Bertha. Crater really trying to protest that production advantage that while he had it. Sleep's got more factories up. His uh, sleep uh, Crater's ally is not doing a good enough job of keeping those factories down like he promised. You know, and I, and I think in hindsight, looking back on that, part of the reason why I thought it was okay for me to not keep up the pressure was I saw that Crater was being quite successful, really pressing in and claimed the wreck field. Oh, look at this. Lovely core pelicans. Moving on. I move the navy in. And there we go. The flax, even those have trouble with the bomber stacks. You can see that enough of those survived that the stacks were able to swing around and hit again. Tip's got another big Bertha up. He's firing at Crater. Down goes more of Sleep's resources. And Team USA is now marching on to Finland soil using Pelicans. But Tip's got that Bertha up. Crater says big Bertha on me. Scouting, trying to find it. And here comes another run. Tip wants to shell me, so he sent some scouts down. Taking out Crater's metal production. Bombing the winds. Big run by Sleep there. At this point, the Pelicans are on the land. They've wiped out Tip's side. Continuous scouting by Tip. He's got the Big Bertha shelling me now. More mass idle cons. Amazing Team USA power. Send some scouts in. I find the Big Bertha. Here goes the stacks. Crater brings his hawks over in support. And down it goes. Tip says, I can't do anything. Or he says, I'm dead. Sleep's got his carriers back here now, holding off his production. Tip says, I can't do anything. Crater's pressing in. Again, he's, Crater's running off of that giant wreck field, and that's where his economy is coming from at this point. I'm doing the same. My Some of my idle cons are busy not being idle right there. Scouting by tip. Sleep putting out some subs. This point, the island is 
Over, the invasion force of engineers has arrived, and here come the construction vehicles. More core pelicans. At this point, I'm feeling pretty good about where we're at. Then the sleep says, I'll try to get a comm with a fib sub. Tip says, okay, now Tip, shame on you for not rebuking him. Um, Tip says, try crater, postal usually cloaks his comm. Um, sleep says, you should keep playing, he's trying to encourage Tip to keep going. You notice right there that bomber stack just came in and wiped out the line of missile towers. So sleep's trying to encourage Tip. I say birds. Yeah, so yeah, sleep. Uh, that's right there. He says you should keep playing, playing well. Now, and Tip says. I can't get anything done because of the bug bombers killing everything. Now you can see there's a sub right here, right on top of Crater's Com, being cloaked by a fit. So sleep sleep says if I got a com. So Crater can't see that right there, so that fib sub, which he can't get, which was able to go past all those destroyers, was able to drive his commander out of the water. In come sleeps bombers, and down crater goes. I say, what? He says, and now push, Sleep says, push. Tip says, effing good. <laughs> so now, Tip is mostly wiped out. But Crater had all of our economy on Team USA side. Sleep has all of the economy on Team Finland side. He says he's on the ground. So Tip have, seems to have gone from despair. He says, "Give me some, give me something like Mexes, so I can bomb." So Tip seems to have gone from despair to elation. Now I go through and I bomb out some of his uh, carriers using the bomber stack there. more amazing idle cons. It's one of the interesting thing where Tip was saying, uh, was advising Sleep to go after Crater. Um, that's one of the things when you play against uh, the same group of people enough, you kind of learn the things that you do. Tip knew that I tend to cloak my comm uh, to avoid it getting assassinated, which would have not been picked up. Um, and he was guessing that Crater would, and Tip's intuition was correct. Flying some more scouts. And I got a stack bomber. At this point, I am looking for a commander. I want to bomb a commander using a stack. Tip's still hiding over in his corner. The conquerors have better range, better armor. I bomb out what Sleep is trying to build over here. I haven't expanded over here. Let's take what I need to. Tip tells uh, Sleep to push me out of the water. He says, okay, good. That stack was not stacked properly. They all blew up at once. So I asked, so you got us calm? Sleep says, yeah. He says, sub bombers. Sleep, you didn't tell me the truth there. Well, you said sub plus bombers, but there was something special about that sub.
And we'll talk about it once the game is over. It was a highly, highly controversial game. My ground force has pushed in. But Sleep's got too many hawks. I don't have enough air defense. Interestingly enough, this game, I didn't have my comm cloaked. Sleep's massive economy is just going to be too much for me. The reason why I dropped all these missile towers was to keep the Hawks away. My Pell Lab gets taken out. I say GG. That's the end of the game. Team Finland is victorious. Tip says, Voy with you. Um, and Sleep says, Oh, that was one heck of a game. Tip says, You are a genius. Um, or Wunderkind, basically. Um, and Sleep says, It paid off till the end. To which Tip says, Yep. Um, and Tip says, Well, you had something to fight with. Uh, and I didn't. <laughs> Um, and, uh, Sleep says yes, and then he says, Somo, I, okay, this is gonna be awful translate, trans, um, pronunciation, I believe, Somo Finland Perkele? Per, uh, a tip will have to, uh, all you Finnish people are laughing right now, um, Cube and, and Sleep and Tip, um, but basically it's like the, a, a patriotic Finnish saying, um, for Team Finland has defeated Team USA in this day. So now we must discuss, um, controversy, um, Crater was fib subbed. So fibbers um, are a unit that cloak sonar, um, but the way sonar works in Total Annihilation is it makes units targetable and visible. So you can actually see them on radar, but they won't be targeted um, if they're fibbed because they're not visible on sonar. So it's like not having line of sight. Um, the way this ends up working, because the death charge of Crusaders uh, and the like isn't the primary weapon, um, it's actually quite difficult to kill them. The only way to actually target them is to use the minimap and then radar target them. Uh, so it's actually incredibly difficult to kill them. Um, and as a result, they kind of really unbalanced things because you can just kind of sneak around and, and scout and then just find high profile targets and unload a whole bunch of torpedoes on them all at the same time which sounds nifty except for the fact that even while they're shooting torpedoes and you know that they're there the only really good way to kill them is with a, a roach bomb or is if you radar target subs and if the map is a large enough map then the mini map was too small and you couldn't actually click on the fibbers to be able to kill them so it was generally considered poor form to use them um, such that, uh, if you did win using them, then it was kind of a dirty win. Um, and that it wasn't something that was, uh, was generally considered okay. So it wasn't against the rules. It wasn't a banned unit, but I certainly know after this particular match, um, whenever there was a tournament, I made sure that one of the rules that was fibbers are banned. Um, and it was one of the units, uh, despite the fact that Total Nation, um, in its vanilla form, is very, very well balanced. That was one of those units that was just uh, considered broken enough to earn itself a ban um, on uh, on the several occasions and in, and in tournaments. But this result held. Um, such rule was not in place. You can take a look at the production at this point. Um, uh, Sleep just really rocketed ahead on production in the end. Um, a tip with all the excess, primarily because he got all his, uh, his factories blown apart. Um, by bomber stacks constantly. So I can imagine that would have been particularly frustrating uh, to fight against. So I hope you all enjoyed this uh, this controversial um, international uh, TA World Cup match right here uh, between Team USA and Team Finland. Um, we'll have a few more of these. I don't know if there's any, like this wasn't necessarily anything official, but I know there are a few other, uh, I believe I have uh, Team Finland versus Team France. Um, and I'm not sure if I have the most classic of, of matches, uh, England versus France. Um, uh, I like to, uh, whenever I saw an England versus France uh, match, I always like to think back to the Hundred Years' War um, and battles over Gascony. So, uh, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, I will catch you next time. Make sure you uh, degun uh, that subscribe button if you have not already, and uh, make sure you, uh, you uh, force fire target on the, uh, the like button. 
uh, as it is a fib sub and it deserves all of your hatred. Make sure you smash it. Okay, take care, guys. Bye.